Hello and welcome to the video tutorial guide. My name is Marianne Fessenden and I am the Academic Liaison and Program Support Associate with Agricultural Modeling and Training Systems. I, and with help from some additional AMTS experts, will walk you through what we call the essentials of the program. This guide will help you understand how to create your first farm and focus on the essential or key inputs that you will want to characterize when you're building a farm in amts.cattle.pro or AMTS Farm. We have a video that steps you through the process of downloading and installing the program for the first time. You can click on the thumbnail for that here or look at the video description below for a link. Part of that video covers the first dialogue that will pop up in a new installation. I have excerpted it here. User ID. Great. This, I'm glad this came up. This throws people a lot. This is the ID that you'll have that will be attached to your farm feed file. So if you're an existing user and you don't know what your user ID is, you could put literally anything in here. And then when you get your farms transferred over to your new computer, you can open them up and you can see what your user ID was and you can change it back to that. So mine, I happen to know. And then because I work for AMTS, I have a code that I have to put in and... After you have created your ID, the next screen that will show is a management console, which aggregates several program management actions. These buttons helpfully guide you through the actions like backing up farms, opening backups, and navigating to specific areas of the program that are not farm dependent. I will create a video on this feature later, but presently each button's functionality is described in the user's guide. From here, you can create your first farm. Each of the actions shown on the control button can also be done by selecting from the top drop-down menus or from the command ribbon. If you are not keen on using this screen and don't wish to see it at startup, untick this box down here. If you really like the way this console streamlines actions, you can return to it by clicking the home control. Forging ahead, I will click create farm here, and we will call this farm video series. The first screen that opens is a farm screen. In a few minutes, we'll dig into that screen. First, I want to give you an introductory overview of the basis of the program along with a few key settings you may want to change in your system, depending on where you work. First, a quick couple of notes about AMTS Farm. This is a software program based on the latest CNCPS biology. All calculations and outputs are true to the CNCPS core equations. Anytime there are calculations that are outside of the CNCPS system, we have those clearly labeled in the outputs. When fully utilized, this program will accurately predict animal performance across a wide range of different production systems. As long as the user focuses their attention on a few key inputs to make sure that they have the right information, the results predicted will closely follow what the animal is saying. We have many discussions in our development meetings about the complexity of the program. Often noted is that if you have to explain how to use it, the screen is too complex. I think that that is true to a degree. For example, arguably, Microsoft Word is intuitive enough that the average user can successfully create a written document without resorting to the user's manual or watching tutorials. However, unlocking the true power of Word and benefiting from a myriad of features does require some tutorials and guided instruction. Moreover, a cow is a complex biological organism. We're not just modeling a cow's digestive system, but must also model a microbial fermentation system. So, to be accurate, the program must be complex. Additionally, we strive to build in features that will make nutritionists' jobs easier through templates, added features, and ability to copy diets, feeds, cattle groups, physical locations, and farms. Future videos will focus on advanced use features. The purpose of this series, however, is to home in on 
the key or essential inputs for each screen necessary to speed up the analysis of diet composition. Overall, the program structure allows users to quickly and simply create farms, cattle groups, feed, forage, and ration definitions. We also provide plenty of optimizers, calculators, and different formats of output to help users quickly see what sort of diets they can feed and provide the best information to their producer clients. Always remember, when you are using this program, if you're putting trash in, you will get trash out. There is no magic to this. This is all basic, straightforward equations. If you don't give the program any good information, then you shouldn't expect any good information to come out of it. A couple quick notes on the computer setup. When you are using this program, we recommend having a good internet connection the first time you open the program, especially after you purchase. This helps make sure that all the updates are coming through correctly and that the feed bank information is there. It also checks your license information with our server to make sure that all the options you may have selected are available on your system. AMTS can work with shared folders such as OneDrive, Dropbox, or other file sync systems, but be aware that if you are on a slow internet connection, this may cause the program to slow down occasionally as it tries to sync with the third-party server. If you are having a lot of trouble with the internet connection stability, we recommend pausing the sync of these folders during the time that you're working on the program. By default, the program will auto-save all changes. This can be changed in settings, but we do recommend keeping autosave on. This way, any changes you make in the system are automatically saved as you make them. You would never worry about loss of data if your computer crashes while working with the program. If you lose your computer or it is irrecoverably corrupted, know that presently we do not keep any copy of your files or your client's information on any of our servers. For this reason, we recommend that you back up your own files to a USB and or the cloud often. We do have another video covering the file structure of AMTS. Click on the thumbnail link or the video link included in this video's description. That video more completely covers your program storage location and file sharing. But just to review, the program is installed on your C drive under Program Files x 86. That part of the program requires an annual subscription to keep it available for your use. Your personal farms are stored elsewhere. By default, they are located in Documents, AMTS, amts.cattle.pro. In that folder, you will find subfolders for the different files the program comes with pre-installed or that are generated during your use. These files are yours forever. Even if your subscription expires, you'll have access to these files. You need the program to read them, but they'll still be there. The key ones to pay attention to are current farms, farm backups, feed analysis, if you're storing your feed analyses as standard XML format, and feed banks and different customizable reports or templates that are used throughout the program. This AMTS folder is what you will want to back up locally in the cloud or wherever you would like to do your backups to make sure that you do not lose any of your data. Overall program structure follows from left to right. We have farms, barns and lots, cattle, feeds, recipes and mixes. Generally, when you're working or setting up a farm, you'll work from left to right in the program. It is set up this way to make sure that you only have to enter information once, even if it is used at several different levels of the program. There are some screens in which the information does not change that often. In likelihood, once you get the farm, barns, cattle, and feed set up, you will be spending most of your time in recipes. So let's look at the key settings on the farm screen. Much of the information on the left side of that screen is farm identifier information. This can be your aggregator of people, numbers, and addresses that don't really add to your formulation needs, but it keeps it all in one place. A few of these fields are necessary for people using integration programs like Dairy Margin Tracker, 
but for most farms, all you really need on the left side is the farm name, which you established when you created the farm. There are some important numbers on the right side that will be necessary for output information in the recipe screen. The main one being milk price. Because different regions have different ways milk price is calculated, we have multiple entry fields. You can put in the milk price in a variety of different units. This number is used for calculating income over feed costs. You may also want to include the net animal value. This allows you to calculate income over feed costs for growing animals, such as replacement heifers or even beef feedlot finishing. Depending on your goals, the value of the animal should either be the purchase cost for beef or the cost you have to pay for a springing heifer, which means an animal close to calving. Also note that that input is on a per unit weight price. The other input you may want to be aware of is the notes section. For most screens, notes will be printed or have an option to print. The notes on the farm screen are meant only for your information. They do not get printed anywhere. Now I want to show you some of the options and settings that can help customize the program. You can navigate either from the home screen or click on the settings in the ribbon bar. I will start at the top and work my way through the sections and tabs. In this user information tab, you would enter your information. The information in these fields are used in reports, and this is where you would change your user ID. The next section will have company information. Here I have my AMTS logo. This section can be customized with your information by sending us a logo that we link to your license. If you're interested in this feature, email support at agmodelsystems.com. The next section is oftentimes the place that you may want to make some changes. You can change your font from the default using this control. When we are demonstrating the program and the screen is being projected, we usually increase the font size to improve legibility. Keep in mind that some of the labeling and formatting may get a bit wonky when you try to adjust the font size off default. You can change which units the program uses. Here you can see that you can change between metric and English, also known as imperial units. That can also be accomplished through this toggle. You can also change between megajoules or megacals for energy. I'm going to use megacals in this demonstration. You can change the currency that's displayed so that if you want to use your local currency, you can enter the symbol here. If you have a minor currency unit, you can also enter that symbol in this space. You can change how many decimal points are shown on the feeds when you are formulating a ration. We have broken it out by feed type to give you the flexibility in formatting. Finally, you can manage grid row colors. I like to have a little more contrast than the typical default colors. When I get into places like the recipe screen, it more clearly shows me which columns are editable. You can get really crazy and include things like your university colors. Just be aware that really dark colors make cell values hard to read. Next, to start up settings. These are some key settings that help the program stay up to date. This controls automatic checks to guarantee that you have the most recent feed banks downloaded from our server. This is the announcement check here, and it helps us be able to communicate with you through the program. When the program opens up, we can show some announcements from our system. You can also customize your program to select what screen farms will open in. Screen settings. This is one of the largest areas for settings. Here we have broken the screens out as separate tabs. I will save a more in-depth consideration of these tabs for a future video. I encourage you to explore these to see how you might be able to customize the program to suit your needs. The reports settings controls the looks of printable reports. This section is further broken out into disclaimers and signatures. With disclaimers, you can customize those reports with your own taglines or disclaimers, or choose the defaults provided by AMTS. Mixes have a separate disclaimer section. Signatures allow you to add a signature to your printed reports. One of the first videos I made was about adding signatures. The link is below. 
Reconciling relates to how feed banks can be automatically updated when you work with a company that has company-wide feed banks. This process is very specific. Refer to the manual for this functionality until we have a video on this. In advanced settings, typically we don't change a lot of things here, but this is the place where you would change the amts.cattle.pro folder if you're working with a cloud file location like Dropbox or OneDrive. This area is where you would control the autosave function. We strongly advise against turning that off. Make sure you understand the consequences if you do choose to turn off autosave. The other control you may wish to change is the language. By default, this box is ticked. From the drop-down, you can see the list of languages the program has been translated into. Calculation settings contain some advanced settings that you may want to change as you get to know the program. Predicted dry matter intake equation is the one that most often gets changed from the CNCPS default to NRC. In a lactating cow diet, you will see two dry matter intake predictions. Typically, the CNCPS equation is closer to the actual intake in more temperate areas that see average to higher than average rainfall. We find the NRC predictions closer to actual in hotter, drier regions. So that wraps it up for the farm screen and for settings. You may notice a few sections on the farm screen, like the whole farm reports shown in the header and the show fed groups checkbox. Those details are explained in the manual and not intended in the scope of this farm essentials video. We recommend you click around and try to understand as much as you can about each screen. The next video in this essential series is on barns and lots. The thumbnail or the link below in the description will guide you there. Look for more program use tutorials and formulation tips on our AMTS website. We have blogs and videos illustrating program use. We value your thoughtful feedback and suggestions for additional video tutorials. You can find program and company information at agmodelsystems.com or reach out to us through support at agmodelsystems.com.